Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deckin' Around Kickstarter Edition. Today we are going to be taking a look at any decks that have funded in the past 7 days, any decks that were new to Kickstarter in the past week, and any decks that are going to be ending their round of funding in the next 7 days. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell. So let's take a look at what's finished their funding this week. First up, we have the Carbon Deck. Congratulations <laughs> on funding. We have the Circle Game Playing Cards. Congratulations. We have the Black Roses Playing Cards Blue Magic Edition. Congratulations. The High Card. The Dreamcatcher Classics. And in the next seven days, we have the Keys playing cards, which are going to be wrapping their funding. The Animal X playing cards, Kajaku edition. The Northern Cottage deck. The Contagion playing cards. The Vietnamese playing cards, Van, Van Swan. Swan, Land of Eternal Spring. The Eclipse Originals playing cards. And the Cardistry game. And I need to back that. I do too. And low poly yeah. sharks playing cards. And culture cards, multicultural playing cards. So let's take a look at what is coming up this week. Yeah. First, we have the 8 bit poker playing cards, Space and Zombie. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this one. Um, Honestly, like it's kind of like nostalgic to some extent. It's, I mean, it, it's fun. It's like Space Invaders kind of meets something else. Like, I guess it's kind of yeah. I guess kind of nostalgic. Like yeah, like very video gamey. It's it's cute. It's definitely yeah. very cute. It's printed plastic on PVC, deck. so it's a plastic deck. Yeah, which is cool. Um, yeah, it's got a video game kind of like Atari type look. Yeah, I like the fact that the, all the courts are, are, all of the suits are different back colors. Um, we saw that, that, looks like, that looks like a singularity, that looks like a singularity god, that deck. Yeah, it kind of does like that explosion in space there. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, so okay, so it's actually two different decks. Two different decks, okay. Cool. Um, not too bad though, $11 for a single, 17 shipped. Uh, I've never seen... I've never seen a dollar sign. I mean, a dollar written out like that. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> it's cool. Considering DLLs are like a computer file, it's definitely an interesting, uh, an interesting look yeah. there. No, I think. Oh, you know, it's, it's a couple. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Do you yeah. think? Do you think he likes the zombies or she likes the zombies? Which one likes the zombies? They could very well both like the zombies. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but, how much is shipping? Uh, six bucks in the U.S., which isn't bad. bad. Yeah, I mean, I think this deck is really kind of geared towards people who like those eight-bit video game styles. It's a really neat deck, though, yeah. all things considered. And yeah. the fact that it's PVC means it's going to hold up. So this is something you could play cards by the pool with or play poker with repeatedly. It's a nice little uh, unique deck. Cool. I Who's affiliate? It. We don't know. Probably. Just... Uh, yeah, it didn't say anything about fulfillment. Yeah. Um, no, nothing about printing. Yeah. Based on the fact that it is two decks, there you go. Kit and all components will be produced in China. All right, so could be one of many manufacturers there for printing then. Uh, yeah. 4200 for two decks as a goal. Like, that's really reasonable. So obviously it's going to be uh, none of the major major names we know there. Yeah. The only other thing I would say is, as much as I like the deck, like, a lot of pictures, not a lot of information, and we do see that a lot. Um, even even if it isn't necessarily, like, okay, yeah, fulfillment or shipping information, but, like, a story behind it. So, yeah, like, why, 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 why space and zombies? Yeah. Like, you know, well, just, think, like, where, why, like, what made you choose space and zombies? And does it well, say think, it down at the bottom? Yeah, I didn't see anything. But like I think about your us? question raises a no, and I think your question raises a great component. We set out to create our own board game to share with the world a way to have a healthy coexistence. Like very. This isn't a board game, though. Yeah. 
I think the story, and I, you know, I've said this a lot, especially recently, I think the story tells a lot about the deck and, you know, helps bring people into it and make that connection that really is going to help them want to buy your product. Even if they, yeah. even if they like the product, I think there's still so many decks out there these days that people are very, there's a lot of scrutiny on what they're actually going to back. So you want to make them feel connected to the project, not just like, here's a whole bunch of cool pictures. And again, the deck is really yeah. cool, but the story would, would help sell it more. So for sure. Yeah. All right. What do we have next? Next up we have Oxalis playing cards, collectors edition. Suitable for real collectors, magicians, and cardists. A deck, a thousand. Oh, jeez. A deck, 100% custom, high gloss, gold foil, only 800 handmade bracelet. What? Yeah, that one threw me off too. I'm not exactly. Okay. So there, it's a deck of cards, and I guess as a add on for some collectors, it's a handmade bracelet. A handmade bracelet. Cool. Nice little personal touch to it. Um,. So it's. I mean, based here, on... here's. I'm gonna. I'll be the bad guy here. I think this deck is really cool looking. Like, I think it's really, really cool. My problem is it's way too close. The back design is way too close to the mid deck. Yeah. Um, I know there's a lot of talk in the community about that, and um, and I, I agree with it. I think it's way too close, and um, but it's a very cool looking back design. Uh, it's just. Too close for comfort, not for comfort, but just too close um, for me to hop on board. You know, I don't. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of hopping on board with decks that look like other decks. So printed I mean, by MPC. Yeah, printed by MPC, and I think in addition to that, being an MPC deck, it's nineteen dollars base, thirty two dollars shipped to the U.S. Yeah, I mean, like, that's just crazy. That's a lot for a deck. And again, I think it's a cool looking deck, but this is something that I'd almost rather see go to Carta Muddy or go to USPCC and get what you get quality on the handling and the printing that you're gonna, you know, more people are gonna be familiar with. Like while MPC is definitely making big strides to become a competitor in that avenue, their decks are still a, a step below to some extent, you know? Here, I, here's the thing. Yes, MPC is a step below. Their their new stock is amazing. But $32 for yeah, I mean it has still. no foil, has no does it have metallic ink at least? I mean what what's why is it $32? I mean how much is it without shipping? They did mention like, foil. It's 19 without shipping. So they did mention foil, but I think it's on the tuck. Um from right. what I can see, I don't see any metallic ink. It looks like an embossed and foiled tuck. Um Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of money. It is. It's a lot of money for a deck that looks like another deck that's already out, you know? But but it's a cool deck. I think it looks really cool. And I'm curious, too. Like, here's my thing, too. Like, okay, you want it to be a limited run. Cool. Why 800 decks? And if you're using 800 decks and that's why you're limiting yourself with MPC because they'll do a sub-1000 run... I'd say reconsider. Like, I don't think it's worthwhile in that capacity. Um, yeah, I mean, eight, eight, a thousand decks from MPC is like... Is, is how much? Yeah, I mean, the more decks you're going to do, the less expensive it's going to be, and you may be able to bring the per deck cost down to the point where it's a little more reasonable to get it shipped. Right. Also, I'm gonna uh, once we get to the bottom here and we can see who the fulfillment is. It just seems like a lot. Twelve euros to the U.S. So you're looking at, like I said, thirteen dollars shipped to the U.S. There's a lot of Europe, European-based campaigns that we've seen that are still doing less shipping. I mean, it's basically fi fixed cost shipping across the world. And what and uh, uh, for a thousand decks for MPC is two dollars and seventy cents. So yeah, so that's a lot around, around there, two dollars and seventy cents. So you're you're asking a lot of money for a deck. If you just bump up to two like two hundred more decks, you're uh, you're paying, let's say three. Three dollars for a thousand decks. Yeah, I think that the, well, and the interesting thing is too. Here's the signature edition where it's got gold foil on the box, gold foil on the playing cards. All well and good. That is... Uh, 
I don't even see where the signature deck comes into play. So is it an add-on? It might be an add-on. Like just arrow, uh, go down. So I mean, we're at, we're almost at the say. bottom here. They don't, yeah. So like signature additional. Okay. In addition to compete our complete our first campaign, we decided to create something for real collectors. In addition of the Exilus Extra Limited with only two hundred twenty caps, this works distinguished by numbers by a number of reasons. And is uh, no, it will not be a cell phone throughout the box. Both number. Okay. However, this reward is not immediately active. All right. So this is a stretch goal. If they hit one sixty. But like, See? all right. So the so the regular yeah. edition then is coming with no foil. Let's go check this again because I'm curious to see what it says. So okay, so there's foil on the box. I mean, minimal foil. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, to me, that's a very expensive deck for something from another manufacturer that could be significantly less, or from the same manufacturer at a, at a higher print run could be significantly less. Yeah, and um, it has custom custom faces. This one does. Yeah, look at the courts. Yeah, but they're not custom custom courts. I mean, those are, those are pretty standard looking. <laughs> I mean, that's what I meant. Not standard. Cust I, I mean, not custom standard. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. I was like thrown off. I'm like, I mean, there's kind of like a little bit of gold on there, but I wouldn't. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I meant that's what, that's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to say, like, yeah, they're they're not custom faces. So the yeah. fact that it's just really expensive for the deck that it is, and especially a deck that looks like another deck, that the other deck is actually cheaper than this deck, and it's actually yeah. printed by, you know. So yeah. I mean, what what else can we say? It's a it's a lot of yeah. money for a deck that looks like another deck. Yeah. So good luck on the campaign, though. We wish you the best. Yep. Let's check it's, a dope, it's a dope looking deck, though. Yeah. So we're going to deviate a little bit here, and we're going to check out these wooden and acrylic playing card displays by TCC. I think one of the things that TCC always does great is display cases, and it's something that I think everyone in the community struggles with, is to figure out how to display their decks. This is actually yeah. a really cool um, option with both a wood and an acrylic version. I think they crushed it in every aspect. Their shipping's dope. At, at picture like they, they just know how to do a campaign yeah. um shipping is a little high and I, i've seen some people ask why and i'll tell you why uh, first of all they're not shipping within the states and the things that they are shipping are um they are kind of heavy and um and they're kind of bulky so yeah. if uh you know like the acrylic cases i don't know if you put those together if they come like that i know that the wooden like ones they're... yeah the wooden ones uh you put them together but uh, I don't know about the acrylic one. But anyway, even if you put it together, um, you know, that stuff's pretty heavy. And the way it needs to be packed is a certain way. And that's where you're paying for, um, why you're paying for a little extra shipping, you know? And in reality, I, you're paying less than you would if it was coming assembled, so. Yeah, for sure. And I think um, if you look at, for instance, I have a couple of those wall displays um, where they hold 100, 100 decks. And... Yeah. They're usually around fifty dollars uh, for the display, and then you have to pay thirty-five, forty dollars just to get it shipped. So the fact that I think their shipping is like thirty-two dollars for the wall display, um, and I think it's a twenty-dollar display. So I mean, it's like it's thirty-seven dollars to ship, and the display is twenty dollars. So basically, yeah, so you're that's paying fifty-seven dollars. Yeah. It's like you're yeah. getting the the wall display with free shipping, technically. Yeah, or close to yeah, because it says retail price fifty. So yeah, you're pr you're basically paying seven dollars for shipping on something that's costing significantly yeah. more to ship. Yeah, but I mean you're you're also it's a little different because you know mine is uh, you know Napa Napa wood, which is high quality wood. And these are not that, but um, it's you know it's easier. And they just huh. look good. I think this kind of is an interesting display. Uh, yeah, for anyone yeah, looking for a display, I think this is worth checking out. They're the great. I love it. By the shipping, yeah. Yeah, I love it. I mean, um, that looks good. The, the cool thing is, is this is made for decks of cards, where mine that I have are made for um, cassette play. I mean, cassettes. So um, you know, some of them are they fit a little tighter, just because some boxes are thicker. But I, I, they're dope. Great price. 
Next up, let's check out Majestic Goat playing cards. No! <laughs> See what I did there? Honestly, I kind of dig the design to some extent. They're fun. Um, I dig them. Yeah, I like goats. Not bad. And I like goats the are, idea. Goats are good luck. They're like a, a majestic animal, which is a good name for the deck. How much are they? Um, 12 bucks for the $12 early bird. $12 early bird, 16 shipped, regular price 14 18 shipped. Not bad. Not bad. What, um, um, United States Playing Card Company. Nice. Nice. Yeah. No, no ad cards or anything like that, so no gaffes, just two jokers and a standard deck of 52, which I think is fine. Uh, yeah, uh, back, you know, cute, cool deck. I, I yeah. think, you know, the, uh, it would have been cool to see, like, maybe some goat heads on the back or something, but other than that, it's a cool deck. It's a, uh, play at home with the family. Kind of yeah, it's really not bad. Something a little, a little unique. If, if you, especially if you like goats, I think it's a steal at the price. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Cool. I mean, I, I put it at like a ten, ten, twelve dollar max price deck, yeah. but yeah, the early bird, it's worth it. But honestly, though, yeah. I mean, yeah. Tw I, I probably wouldn't pay more than fifteen shipped for that, but next, I'm pretty, up, I'm pretty picky. <laughs> next up, we have the eight bit deck it's been a bunch of these out huh yeah uh eight bit deck is back new iteration it's not a bad looking deck uh again like i think this is definitely geared towards people who like that video game 8-bit-esque uh vibe this isn't necessarily my style but that being said i think it's cool yeah um, not my style either yeah. I wish you could see the quartz a little better. They look a little too pixely for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they're, I guess you that's, know. that's the vibe, though, you know? Yeah. Kind of cool. How much is it? Um, 15 bucks. 15 20 shipped. It's pricey, man. Yeah, and... Okay, USPCC. USPCC. Yeah, no word on... Fulfillment. So, that's the one area I'd say is definitely think on fulfillment. The other thing too is I don't really think this is necessarily a fifteen dollar deck from that price point. Maybe closer to that again, ten to ten to twelve, ten to thirteen price point. Um, yeah, for sure. Well, actually, so here's the thing though too: there is embossed gold foil embossed on the top. Still, so, still 12 bucks tops. So, and that's the thing, though, with this, too. And I just want to see here if it mentions it. Uh, red backs and a gold foil embossed on the top box. Like, I, I know gold foil isn't necessarily easy to show in a render or even with prototypes. But I would make that much more visible immediately. Like, bold that along with the fact that for a limited time you can grab both a classic blue back and a red back. Like... Actually, you know, you know what I would do? I with a deck like this, I would not even put foil on that tuck. There's no point in it. There's no point in like embossing it. There's no point in putting foil on it because it's not that kind of deck. And it actually kind of seems counter to the idea. Yeah, of the it doesn't. It doesn't make resolution. It's just, yeah, it's it's like kind of like we, what we've talked to before is like trying to make a deck more luxurious than it really is, and yeah, it just doesn't fit. So I think having that and like having to pay for that is kind of weird. So, that's like that's like embossing. That's like embossing and putting foil on a knock tuck box. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's an interesting concept, but yeah, I think it kind of goes against the theme of like low resolution. Like. Yeah. That's yeah. part of the quirk but, of it. Also, that's a. I guess Twelve thousand dollar goal, like. With the and honestly, a lot of that is probably the customization to the tuck. Like that's a high goal. No for way. There's a, no way. Meh. Twelve thousand dollars is like a two deck. If you're buying two decks, like yeah, you know, USPCC, yeah. they're getting a thousand decks. That deck right there is, you know, they're paying thirty five hundred 
for the deck. You have and seen then, in the past, with, though. With USP- the box, they're probably paying, five, let's say, five, six bucks tops. So USPCC, though, is not cheap with their uh, custom, like the foiling on the tuck and stuff like that, though. We've seen that in the past with other campaigns where they've relaunched with a different provider for the tucks because of the cost associated at USPCC. So Yeah, I, I'm saying, let, let's say that tuck box is an extra $2 per tuck. Which it's yeah. it's possible, but um, you know that being said, it's still sixty five hundred dollars. That's being generous. That's like three dollars above, you know, thirty five hundred dollars, which is what it would cost for a thousand decks. But around yeah. there, you know. So uh, let's say sixty five hundred sh- is what they're paying for a thousand decks. You know, to have it double is a little, a little much. Yeah, well, hey, good luck to them on the campaign. 25 days yeah. ago, they're about halfway there, so it's got some good momentum behind it. Yeah, uh, they have a lot of backers. 190 backers is good. Yeah. It's definitely, again, go. not my style, but it's a, it's, a, it's a cute deck if this is the kind of thing you're into, so definitely check it out. Go get it. And next up, we have the Undressed deck. undressed deck did the goal on this actually crushed and it's funny because uh i had spoken to the creator before about the goal because i was curious so one of the things i'll mention here is that they are creating a deck of cards as well as custom socks and i was curious how much of the goal was related to the addition of socks and things like that and let's check real quick before we kind of run through the whole thing but i'd mentioned to him it would be interesting to see you know a um a breakdown of the costs so nice <laughs> a picture of the queen oh my god that's a lot that's so good <laughs> <laughs> i mean i think it's interesting that i think it's an interesting deck um it's definitely humorous i i think it's i think here, here's the thing i think as we all know this whole entire community knows i am not into objectifying and sexualizing um, you know, women especially, but, you know, people. But um, this deck is definitely a comic a comic deck. It's a satire deck. And both the male and the females are semi-nude, you know? Um, so you, they're class. They're done very uh, with classy taste. And the fact that the King of Diamonds is like a fat dude with hair on him, um, well, yeah, and I think it touches awesome. on different body types as well across the board. Yeah. Like, not just the king, yeah. but like it's not just the same queen across all the suits. There's different body right. types represented. Like it's done in a good, fun way, and and yeah. that's that's why I can back something like this. That back design though looks like the the peacock deck. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Do you notice that? Yeah, go back to that picture. Look it. It really does. It literally looks like the peacock deck. Interesting. Yeah, looks strange. Anyway, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I definitely design, think yeah. it's a it, it's a fun deck. It's um, you know, this is something that I think could be fun for um, you know, like poker nights or just having fun with the family because there's nothing they don't show anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. No. I think the and the other side of it too is if you're really a playing card enthusiast, playing card based socks like that's something we don't see that often. This is pretty clever. Are um, they na- are they the same? Oh yeah, they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. Like they're I wouldn't more, rock. I more. wouldn't rock socks like that. I mean, I don't really rock like fun socks in general. So this would be either. my thing. But like, no. But I think this it's a it's a well thought out campaign. Um, yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen dollars shipped. For the deck, nice. So it's two dollars shipping on the early bird. No, it's uh, that's euros, thirteen euros. So fifteen dollars converted. So free shipping. Oh, cool. um, wow. The deck outside of the early bird is. I do not see it. it says right there in front of you. Go up. There you go, right there. Uh, that's the early bird still. So it's like a. It's uh, right down there. So there's two two decks is twenty four dollars, twenty five dollars. That's still also the no, no, early go, bird. Go down. Right there. Twenty oh that's early bird too. Yeah, but it yeah, says they're right. available. Yeah. They it looks like they only have early bird tiers. Yeah, which, they only have early birds for that. Which actually the interesting thing about that, and let me just see here. So it's 
A time-based early bird, so at the end of 22 hours, you won't be able to buy a single deck again unless you buy them with socks. That's weird. That is a bit weird, and I also don't necessarily think that's the best play, because this is a deck that I think a lot of people are going to buy one or two of, not yeah. half a brick. So, something that yeah, I definitely I would I would not buy... I would not buy those socks. So if if I wanted this deck, like I wouldn't buy it because I just I'm not gonna get a half a brick in and I don't want socks. Yeah. Yeah, so that's but something other, other than that other than that, it's you know, it's, it's a fun deck. Um it's done with class and um yeah, it looks a lot like the the uh, peacock deck, the bicycle peacock deck. And I know production USPCC. So yeah, USPCC is printing. Um, it doesn't so you know it's o- you know it's okay if USPCC is doing it. Yeah, yeah, they 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 gave the green light on this. That's a lot for them. Yeah, that um, is a lot. Yeah. And fulfillment's not touched on, but I know they were looking at fulfillment companies, so it may just be that it hasn't been finalized yet. But it sounded like. U.S. based shipping would be covered via fulfillment, no matter who they go with, and then European would be handled by them. And I think that yeah. makes some sense because a lot of times with these campaigns, there's a much larger percentage of backers from the U.S. than most of Europe. Cool. Listen, I think it's a it's an fun. interesting looking deck. It's fun. Yeah, uh, wouldn't be something that you know I would necessarily again want a brick of, but for a fun little single deck or two, not bad. They're really close yep. to their goal, which I think is awesome. I'd still love to see part of the, sh- the breakdown on that, because it does, even for a deck and socks, seems like a relatively high goal. But obviously, I don't think with 24 days left and 437 backers, they're going to have a problem pushing past those last $1,200. So Yeah, I, I, think, I think they'll be just fine. Yeah, good luck, guys. All right, <laughs> next up we have... Funny That's deck. it. So, about those tra- let's talk about those trainers. Yeah, so one thing we wanted to touch on, which we hadn't, uh, which didn't pop up in our search the other day, and we wanted to touch on, and they're also ending in the next week, is the Gliders Cardistry packets, which, you know, caught both our eye. I think they're really good looking trainers. Um, the price I love point. The name, in, the Gliders. That's so Yeah. Cool. I mean, listen, I think it, it's very, uh, and honestly, they're, even their logo is like catchy with the little sugar glider. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I dig it. Yeah. So here's the it's, thing. Here's a couple problems I have. So for a stack of four, it's forty dollars. As far as I know, don't most trainers come with five? I uh, the ones I've seen usually, yeah. Yeah. So usually the fact five that packets. these are f- stacks of four for seventy dollars, or stacks of five for set for fifty dollars, like I mean stacks of four. Yeah. You're kind of missing one. So, like, like for instance, if you want to do, like, if you want to practice with, like, just Sybil, you can't even do Sybil because there's not enough in there. You know, with Sybil, you need all of them. Yeah. With the worm, you need five. So, like, yeah. the fact that you can't do standard, like, basic, important cut, like, practice cutter stream moves with them is kind of weird that the fact that they're so expensive. I yeah, I that, really dig them though, but they're super super expensive, and you're missing, um, you're missing one that, trainer in there. Yeah, I think the one thing is too. Hopefully, this is something where if it doesn't fund, assess your production costs. If you can bring the cost down, and it very well may be that being a small operation, it costs a lot to make these. You need to figure out a way to do it less expensive so you can pass that savings on to the backers and potential clients. Because I think this is an aw- – they're awesome looking trainers. They're very yeah, visual. They're cool. They have nice designs to them. I really like – honestly, I really like the branded one even. Um, the the custom ones with the, the backgrounds, those, they're beautiful. Those looking. are cool. I mean, that's yeah. so dope. Yeah, that's cool. And, and I think one of the things to take into consideration too is like – for these ones with the background versus, you know, these ones, does it cost more? If it yeah, doesn't why, cost why more, that's 30, pretty... Why is $20 more? Yeah, so that's a pretty significant jump between the base model and the 
the high end, an explanation of why, uh, showing the effort, things like that. I think the one other thing, too, is you have a great amount of pictures, you have a great amount of, you know, information from, obviously it's a very visual thing, but information from the pictures. The one thing that would be helpful is just more information in general, like, explain the process, explain the story, explain who you are. I think, again, when you're trying to come out with something in a community like this, introducing yourself and being transparent about who you are and what the process is, is all very important. Um, and it'll hopefully help uh, spread confidence in the product and also spread awareness of the product. So what's that? I think what's that say? Le leather tuck cape? Yeah, they have a leather like pouch that you can get as well. Uh, yeah. So how much is shipping? Um, shipping is that's just a sticker. Shipping is another ten dollars. Oh, yeah. So again, I think the price point may be detrimental on this one. I would definitely bring it back to the drawing board because I think the quality of this looks phenomenal. Um, and just the the ability to customize these seems really cool. Just being able to bring the price point down is going to be crucial to hopefully getting this funded when you relaunch because I think it's an awesome idea. Yeah. So. Yeah. Agreed. So, that being said, that's all. Yeah, Steve, what would you uh what would you back this week? <laughs> what would I back? Uh, I don't know, man. I think like a as they sit, probably nothing. I think on my end, I was I like the undressed deck. I thought it was quirky and interesting. I'd back it for one probably. Um Oxalis if it was at a more reasonable price point, I would have considered, but I think there's just a, d a decent amount of issues that need to be addressed there. Um, yeah, but otherwise, you know, it was a relatively slow week, obviously, in comparison to yep. last week, but I think there were some, in there was a lot of potential, I think, in this week, if nothing else. Right on. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And tune in next Monday when we drop another one of these Kickstarter recaps. Thanks so much.